Ciao and happy Wednesday. This is Abby with the Fairport Public Library and I've got another craft for you. Today our craft is going to be great for the kitchen and will add a little fun to your herb garden. So let's get started. Here's what you're going to need for today's craft. You're going to need a terracotta pot and a base. You're going to need some paint pens. I've got brown, red, black, metallic red, and yellow, and a basil plant. So first I'm going to show you the pattern that we're going to do with the pizza all over this adorable little pot. And I'll show you it a couple times. I might even zoom in so you can get a good look at it. But so I'm just using the terracotta pot as is. I got this at Michael's, very cheap. Um, so I'm going to, you can paint a base if you want. You can paint like a white if you really want the pizzas to show up. But I kind of like this natural look and I'm just going to paint the pizza on top of it. So we've got these paint pen here. They're oil-based paint pens. Um, I got these at Michael's as well. And I have a permanent marker because I forgot to get a brown paint pen. So I have a brown permanent marker that should work just fine because we're not gonna be really washing this after we make it. So to start off, we're gonna make some pizzas. So let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more so that you can see a little bit better. All right, so to get started, I'm gonna open up my paint pen. Now I've already gotten paint to the tip. There's a process, it's written on here. Shake pen down to mix paint while pen's facing up, push the nib in and then the paint starts to come. Now I made sure there was paint fully in um, when I decided to do this. So, so with yellow, I'm gonna make a triangle. Now this does not have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get the uh, a fun pizza here. I'm not looking for perfect pizzas. So I'm gonna do a few triangles around here in different directions, because I want pizza all over this. There is something about having a picture of what you can make with the herbs that are planted in the pot that just like tickles my funny bone. So this is why I'm doing this. If you don't wanna make a pizza pot, that's okay. I'm only judging you a little bit, but I think it's fun. It's gonna make me laugh every time I go take basil to make some kind of Italian meal. You know, honestly, I use basil to make other Italian meals more than I use it to make pizza, but pizza is my absolute favorite food. I would walk across fiery coals for pizza. So I'm going to embrace that love and passion and I make a pizza pie. All right, so I'm gonna do one more. Let's do it like this guy. It's easy to like alternate, 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 and then it looks intentional when I just want it to be unintentional all over the place. Maybe I'll do an upside down pizza. Am I gonna hate it? We'll see. We shall see. So I'm just doing a yellow base for the cheese on our cheesy pepperoni pizza. Now, if you are a vegan, you can make this cheese pizza. You do not have to make it pepperoni. I am not judging to each their own. Um, but since we're using oil-based paint instead of real pizza ingredients, technically they're all vegan anyways. All right, so I've got some yellow triangles for my cheese. Now, my next step is going to be putting a little bit of sauce on the top of each piece of slice. Oh my gosh, all right, here we go. So I'm just gonna do a little line. I'm using my metallic red here. You can make it a little wiggly if you want. Everybody knows pizza sauce is not, um, Perfect. Or at least it's not when I make a pizza, that's for sure. Now you wanna do it on the yellow so it shows up. If you were doing a white background, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, it would just show up so you could add another layer. But for me, because I'm a little lazy, I am just doing it on the yellow. So there you go, there's a little red line. Looks like chips and salsa right now, but we will change that momentarily. 
Now I'm gonna take my brown pen and I'm going to start making a crust. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger than the pizza itself. I'm sorry I did the upside down one first, but I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Now if you like a Mark's type pizza, you can do a really thick crust. If you like a thinner crust, you can do a thinner line of brown, whatever you like, guys. This is your pizza. It's like you pick your own toppings anyway. All right, do a crust. Here we go. Another crust. Apparently all these slices did not come from the same pizza because I have all different <laughs> shapes of crust going on, but that's okay. All right, so cheese, sauce, crust. What else do we need? For all of you meat eaters out there like me, I'm gonna do some pepperoni. So I'm gonna take my regular red first and I'm gonna just wing it, make some peps all over the place. You do not have to have them be the same. You can have different amounts on each one. I feel like I hate that, but okay. We're gonna go with it. I'm gonna make a big one over here, another half, and then another big one. Yes. All right. This one's just gonna have two. I feel like this one looks like a dice, which is why I hate it, but you know, guys, you do not have to self-loathe like I do, okay? I actually recommend you don't self-loathe. <laughs> Especially right now, we should be kind to ourselves. Why am I not taking my own advice? We will never know. All right. And then finally, one last slice. I'm gonna put a little one up in the corner. All right. This piece does not have enough bigger pepperoni. There we go. It's my first one. All right, so here we go. Look at this. It's starting to come together. Now I'm going to go back to my little red. If you like the cartoony look, the full-on cartoon, leave it like this. But for me, I'm going to put little darts, dots of darker red on my pepperoni to give it a little dimension. And I'm just kind of doing it randomly as I can. Boop, boop, boop. She says as she puts three in each one. Of course, this one, I'm gonna do four on each one because I just made fun of myself. All right. I don't recommend doing two. Look at this, little freckles for our pepperoni. You see that? Just a little extra dimension, super cute. All right, final step on making your pizza is the sharp, really thin black pen. Now, this one is great because we're gonna give our pizza's definition. Now, if you like it like this, go to town. You are done. Just finish the pizza on the rest and you're good. But me, I like to have it be a little more crisp. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline each part. So I'm going to do the crust. I'm going to do the sauce. I'm going to do the cheese. And then each pep. Oh, you guys hear my timer going off? That's because I'm making some food right now. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's going to go off a few more times, but I'm going to show you this again. Go around, do the whole slice, do a little boop, boop, boop on the sauce, and get those peps. Now you don't have to be perfect, I actually prefer not to do it perfectly so that I don't beat myself up, right? And it's all together. So I'm going to do the rest of these and I will be right back. There you go, movie magic. The pizza is done. Look at this. All right, I'm about to put the plant in there, but oh my gosh, you guys, I think they're so cute. I could eat this whole pizza all by myself. All right, like I said before, I picked pizza because it's my favorite food, but also because it's super easy to draw. 
If you want to pick another Italian food, go for it. But I don't know how you're going to draw spaghetti or eggplant parmesan. So if you're going to do this craft, let me just suggest sticking with pizza. So let's put the plant inside. And there's our finished product. Look at that basil plant. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing. Makes me want to cook some more. Although you did hear my kitchen timer going off earlier, I was not making pizza, which is a travesty. But now I can because I have a basil plant and a pizza pot. There you go. You did it. You made your own pizza pot. Mwah! Wonderful job. I hope you use your basil and you use your pot. And if you put more of your herbs in pots, just think of all the amazing things you can draw on them to add a little fun. So if you do this, let me know. If you pick a different Italian food and you paint it well, please show me because I could not think of anything but pizza, but that is a normal state for me. And I hope you guys had fun and I will see you next Wednesday.